as we sang, as we came into God's presence, we receive his forgiveness and his mercy and his grace. Our passage that I'll be reading later on this morning is from Revelations, and we'll be focusing on the church in Philadelphia. In Revelations 2 and 3, Jesus uh, preached to seven churches there. And he had both commendation and he had correction for each of them. Now there are seven churches there, and those churches represent all churches of all times and all places, including us here gathered today. And Christ brought up to their attention and brings up to our attention some of the things that may be affecting our lives, that may be getting in the way between us and God and our relationship with God. And some of the things that he brought up to the churches then was idolatry, placing something or someone else ahead of God. Thus, faithlessness, and that was happening in Pergamum and Thyatira. Then there was conceit. There's that thinking, we can do it ourselves, we can do it on our own, we don't need God. That happened in Laodicea. Then there's that complacency that I think tends to affect us all at one time or another. When the challenges we are facing in life, whether as individuals or as a group, seem beyond us, and we and we we don't think we can do it. And rather than trust in God's power to address them, we just sort of give up, which happened in Sardis. And then there's that familiar one, conformity to culture. We go along just to get ahead. And that's what happened in Thyatira and Pergamum as well. And then there was always indifference. That, that, that famous passage where Jesus said, I wish you were either hot or cold, but you're just lukewarm, so I'm going to spit you out. And that happened in Ephesus and Laodicea. Now the good news is, and we sang this already, that despite the fact that we fall very fall short of God's, God's holiness and awesomeness, He forgives us in Jesus Christ. And He empowers us by the Holy Spirit to move beyond those things that are holding us back in our lives. And invite us to pray. Let us come before God. Father, Son, and Spirit, you shepherd, you save, you stand with us. You graciously correct as needed. And you don't just leave us there. You forgive us for weakening your lampstands with idolatry and conceit and complacency and conformity and indifference. Yes, But you also empower us then to move beyond that. To change those things into faithful, into faithfulness and humility. To love God and neighbor creatively, constructively, passionately. To uphold Christ's light effectively within our communities, within our families, within our churches, within this world. Father God, you are amazing. And God, we just thank you for the grace that you pour out upon us in Jesus Christ that we've sang about here this morning. May those words echo down into the core of our being. May they become part of who we are. May they take on our flesh and blood and how we respond to the things that are happening in the world around us, to the challenges that we all face day in and day out. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our faithful Savior. Amen. I believe at this time it's the time for congregational prayer, or are there more songs, Cole? No, you sang all the songs already, so now it's congregational prayer time, I believe? All right, we'll go with that. Shall we pray? <clears throat> Lord, <clears throat> we come to you as a congregation to give you thanks for the opportunity to sing praises and worship you. This Sunday morning, will you bless Pastor Winston 
as he brings the message for us today. It's so good to see him here. We also bless Pastor Dan as he preaches in Cornwall on a classical appointment. We thank you for this country of ours, Canada, and for Remembrance Day as we remember the great sacrifice the soldiers gave for our freedom. Also for your son, Jesus Christ, who gave his life willingly for our salvation. Now we ask your Lord to help us and our families and the world from the COVID-19 as it comes in different waves. May we do our part to keep our neighbors safe. May you bless our church programs, the leaders from gyms and cadets, Sunday school, catechism, coffee break, Bible studies, teachers, and even bowling. We pray for our sick. I think of Lita, Edith, Henny, Susan, Adriana, and also Chris. Also, Lord, we ask you to be with Henry and Alex, as their mother is uh, very ill, and uh, we sustain them, Lord, and give them your peace. If I forgot to mention other, Lord, you, you know them. And on another note, Lord, we thank you for giving Jackie a birthday today. Will you bless her and her family, and we thank you for them. And we thank you, Lord, for hearing us. Amen. The offering is for denominational ministry shares. 